A multitude of men, women and children camped along the road holding leaves and placards as they awaited the ministers who had rushed to West Nile to resolve this land drought. When ministers Daudi Migereko and Aronda Nyakairima arrived, the crowd went into wailing. The ministers were left agitated and disgraced when some women in the crowd stripped. Not even the presence of their children would stop the women from shedding their clothes as others buried their heads in their palms in shame. The ministers could not bear the sight anymore as the melodrama continued to unfold. Two years ago, 50 women stripped naked in Lakang, Amori district over a land row. Ministers Daudi Migereko and Aronda Nyakairima had disregarded advice from local leaders who were against their visit. On Wednesday, the ministers held talks with local leaders at Amori Town Hall, which ended in an impasse. Tempers flared when Kilak County MP Gilbert Olanya and General Nyakairima disagreed. Through the history, there is a clear boundary between West Nile and Achuli. And it beats, it beats my understanding when they are saying they wanted the surveyor to put the max stone to demarcate the boundary between Amor district and Ajumani district. After this baptism of fire, the ministers reversed their decision and stopped the border demarcation. It took the soothing words of a rural county MP. Samuel Odonga Oto to calm tempers. The Acholi sub-region, which was scarred by the LRA insurgency, is beginning to reap the dividends of peace. However, a new conflict over large swaths of communally owned land has emerged. <laughs> We live peacefully with people in Ajumani. It is our leaders who are causing the confusion in order to sell the land. The boundary has never changed from where it is. The demarcation will cause conflict. In 2012, the UPDF, Police and Uganda Wildlife Authority, arbitrarily evicted over 6,000 residents from their land in a par. Uganda Wildlife Authority revealed it had signed a tripartite agreement with Martin Bruce, a South African investor, and the district to hunt the sprawling piece of land for sport hunting. Last week, 82 residents were injured when rampaging soldiers carried out a brutal operation to nip in the bud protests in the area. Migereko says government will resolve this problem. Nobody is going to be evicted from his or her land. When you see the surveyors here, please don't think they have come to take away your land or to send you off your land. His colleague Nyakairima warned locals against lawlessness. If we don't resolve it, we may, we may choose to go to the president until we get a solution. And we have a solution, there is no way. We have to have a solution. However, he also ordered that all locals arrested be freed. <laughs>